And there's a young man in Overland Park that I'd like you to meet. He's 13 and well on his way to his goal of one day being a pilot. He thinks he has the most simulated flights into and out of Kansas City in the world. This is more than a game or a hobby. It's still a case, though, of family encouraging their child's passion. We almost take for granted just how amazing and incredibly complicated air travel is. Jad Darwish like does not. Like this soon-to-be eighth grader is obsessed with the magic and the science of flight. He was on the first flight out of the new terminal at KCI, spends many spare hours plane spotting at the airport, and from the desk in his bedroom, he's flown simulated flights all over the world. I feel like I'm actually like starting up early and stuff. It feels like it's actually, you know, me building up to what I want to do and stuff. In fact, he has more simulated flights into and out of KCI than anyone in the world. Usually, um, you only put it to here for takeoff and you calculate, you can calculate how much thrust it actually puts because you don't use the whole engine on takeoff. But this simulation is still incredibly detailed. Every single thing works here. You know, I can even, this is a standby for your landing gear, it even opens. Jad knows every button and dial in this cockpit. He learned how to make a flight plan and even talks with another person live who's online as the air traffic controller for the simulation software. Whenever I land, you know, the second you land, air traffic control talks to you. So, uh, you know, I have to dial in the frequency. I have to look down, dial in the frequency while talking to them, while exiting the runway at this good time. Listen to a bit of Jad preparing to take off. 22, 21, uh, holding short through one left Azula. for takeoff through one left, jump to 22, 21. Another thing, these simulations are real time, meaning if it's a five hour flight, he's there for five hours. He does his best to make every aspect as real as possible, even turning off all the lights in his room for a night flight. But real life is still happening around him. Multiple times that I'm mid clearance, my mom opens the door and she just starts talking and I can't hear anything. It's not, she's not, I don't know if she's knocking on the door because my headphones are on. You might call them even, considering how often his flights interrupt the family schedule. We have uh, some kind of commitment, and uh, either we delay our commitment or we uh, change the time. Uh, I mean, just because he has flight, he has to land at a certain time. But his dad tells me that he and his wife see real value in Jad's time in the simulated sky. That's his passion, and if he enjoys it, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I think it would be rewarding for him, and I really, really like what he's doing as well. Such a great family and a great young man. His yeah. parents stressed to me they have strict rules about how he communicates with people online because he's okay. talking to other people on right. a regular basis and about his requirements for keeping up his actual schoolwork. <laughs> Can't also, about that. Dad is training as an air traffic controller, already doing that job in the simulation software for the St. Louis airport. He's looking forward to get to Kansas City. And there's more. He's wor part of the team working on the simulated version of the new terminal at KC because if you open up the software, yeah. it's still the old terminal. He's helping to build the simulated version of the new terminal. And he's 13. So he spends hours out there. Every chance he gets, he goes out there and does plane spotting, that kind of thing. Oh he's obsessed, and it's well on his way to his goal one day. That's incredible. Thanks yeah. for sharing And a cool story. family for letting him do that, too. Oh, for sure. Love Very that. cool parents. Yeah.